Welcome to our video guide about post back URLs in affiliate marketing. In this video, I'll guide you step by step into all the details about post back URLs and get you ready to set it up and optimize your campaigns effectively with Adstera. After watching this video guide, you will be able to implement post backs into your campaigns right away and gain valuable insights for optimization and better ROI. What is post back URL in affiliate marketing and why is it important to use it? Affiliate marketers often purchase traffic without knowing how to optimize or improve their campaigns due to a lack of data insights, even if the campaigns are potentially profitable. This is where Postback comes in, providing the necessary tools to help you optimize your campaigns effectively. Postback URL serves as a communication link between an ad affiliate network and an advertiser's tracking system. In turn, a tracker by activating the URL Postback of the traffic source reports about this event. It allows the affiliate network to notify the advertiser's system about specific events such as conversions. Essentially, it's a dynamic URL that triggers actions based on user interactions. It offers a real-time data insights enabling advertisers to optimize their campaigns promptly. It provides accurate attribution of conversions to specific affiliates, fostering transparency and trust in affiliate partnerships. By tracking conversions effectively, advertisers can allocate resources more effectively, maximizing their ROI. How do does post back URL tracking work? When an event occurs such as successful conversion, the affiliate network sends a request to the advertiser's system through the post back URL. The URL contains placeholders or macros that get replaced with the actual data. The advertiser's system then processes this data, attributing the conversion to the appropriate affiliate. Here are the steps outlining the flow. A user clicks on an ad in a traffic source. The ad network sends information to the tracker using tokens regarding each specific click. The user is redirected to the landing page via tracker by clicking the ad. The tracker transmits information to the affiliate network using tokens about each specific redirect to the offer. The user performs the target action. The affiliate network activates the postback URL and sends the conversion data back to the tracker for further tracking by the affiliate marketer. The tracker program automatically starts the postback URL of the traffic source. Conversion tracking involves monitoring and analyzing user actions that lead to desired outcomes, such as sign up. Postback URLs play a key role in conversion tracking by providing real time data on conversions, allowing advertisers to optimize their campaigns effectively. Let's see the main points explained further. Click tracking process. When a user clicks on an ad, the traffic source generates a unique click ID. This click ID is sent to the tracker by the traffic source. Tracker's role. The tracker generates a unique identifier for each click based on the received information. It assigns the identifier to the click and forwards it to the affiliate network via a traffic link. Conversion confirmation. If a conversion occurs, the affiliate network activates the postback URL for the tracker. This postback URL includes the click ID of the conversion confirming the initiating visitor. Tracker's verification. The tracker only accepts postback URLs from the affiliate network containing its click ID value. Corresponding postback. Upon receiving a postback URL with its click ID, the tracker activates the tracker source's postback URL. It returns their postback URL with a click ID value, ensuring the data accuracy. The traffic source's postback URL must precisely contain the click ID value passed to the tracker via the campaign URL. Additional parameters. Other parameters such as payment amount, transition time, or order number can also be included in the postback depending on selected macros or tokens. Let's use this example postback URL to define its parts. Domain.com is the URL of the offer that an affiliate marketer enters. Question mark is the symbol that separates the main body uh, of the link from the tracking parameters. Ampersand is the symbol that separates different tracking parameters. Sub ID, payout, currency. Those are tracking parameters that transfer values. They're unique for each tracker. Sub two, money. Currency. Those are the affiliate network's tokens that will be replaced with the values when the link is activated. They are unique for each affiliate network. So as soon as the user performs the target action, the affiliate network platform will activate this URL and the tokens will be replaced with specific information. Therefore, the activated postback will look like this. Adstera offers a wide range of macros to track essential data. They include click ID, payout, currency, offers, transaction ID, and so on. Those micros provide detailed insights into user behavior and campaign performance. Now, after we've covered everything about postback URLs and know what they are, 
let me show you how to set up those back URL in your Stero account and get you ready to start your successful campaigns. As an example, we will connect an ad network at Stero, a tracker, which is BMOB, and an X affiliate network. However, in your account, you can find various tracking systems that are integrated with Astera. Those include Volume, Has Office, Cake, Binom, Bimob, Kataro, AdsBridge, RedTrack, CPV Lab, and AppsFlyer. Simply choose the one that suits your needs or create a custom option. Let's sign up to Bimob right now and set your campaigns step by step with me. Bimob offers a free plan to kickstart your affiliate marketing journey. Additionally, you can use our promo code ADSTERRA to get a 25% discount on any plan or feature for the first two months. Let's get down to it. After you've created a Bmob account, you will need to create an account at Adstera or log into your existing one. Then navigate to the Tracking tab and click Conversion Tracking. Let's assume you're using Bmob as a tracker system. Choose your postback type and Bmob as a tracker. Then click the Generate Postback button. Now go to the Bmob platform and click on the Traffic Sources tab. Then click New from the template and choose Adstera out of the other ad networks. Then click Next. Then name your traffic source. Replace your traffic source postback URL with the one generated earlier on your Astera account. Match tokens data to enable Astera S2S tracking. Look for the click ID analog on your tracker. It may be any of the following or any other identifier. Bmob Tracker has already added SAP ID short near its external ID parameter, so you can leave it as it is. And click the Save button. After that, go to the Campaign tab on Bmob. Click New, then Create Campaign. Choose Master Workspace. Name your campaign, select a Sarah traffic source, choose country or leave it as global. Set CPA cost model and conversion cost. After that, change past destination to build in flow and choose the offer you want to work with. However, keep in mind that you will need to create an offer before completing this step. Copy your campaign URL from Bmob, then move to your Astera account and paste the URL on the test conversion tracking section. Then click the check URL button. If the link is OK, you will receive the system message like this. After checking your URL at the previous step, scroll down and click the Make a Test Conversion button. You will be redirected to your Office page to complete the conversion as if you were a user. This will help ensure that all the settings are correct and everything works properly. After making a test conversion, check out the status of your URL that will appear below in the Check the URL Status section. The status of your URL should change to Valid after 5 to 10 minutes. This indicates that everything is set up correctly. That's it! You're all set to launch your campaign and track its essential parts. Now it's your turn to set it up and optimize your results. At Stera, your growth area.